In this video, we present a control scheme to operate boost converter in boundary conduction mode using gallium nitride transistors. In the proposed method, it is assumed that the zero current information is not available for controlling the converter. To operate the converter at boundary conduction, it is required to have a proper control scheme to change the switching frequency, as well as an accurate method to detect the zero current. Here, the current mirroring technique is used for monitoring the power device current practically in a lossless manner. In this scheme, two transistors with different resistances are connected in parallel. The one with higher resistance carries much smaller current, yet can represent the current in the main branch with proportion, which we call its send scan. Now, we utilize the potential of this technique to control a synchronous boost converter to operate in boundary conduction. Since zero current of an active device is not available in synchronous mode of boost converter, a delay cursor is used in an iterative control scheme to bring the converter to boundary conduction. At continuous conduction mode, the generated trigger signal respect to the reference PWM has a zero delay. However, in boundary conduction mode, the trigger signal compared to the reference PWM signal has a constant non-zero value. We demonstrate experimentally the effectiveness of the proposed method on a prototyped gallium nitride boost converter whose active switch current is monitored through current mirroring technique. Initially, the converter operates with 24 kHz at 40% duty cycle. By increasing the duty cycle to 60%, the converter enters continuous conduction mode and no delay will be triggered. Now, the microcontroller sweeps down the switching frequency to reach the desirable delay in finding a new boundary conduction mode. Thanks for watching this video.